All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. More Theros Beyond Death. Previews, early access stream, hashtag sponsored, and uh, I play 10 new brews, if you haven't seen these yet. 10 new brews, this is deck number six. Um, on stream, on YouTube, and of course in my article on CoolStuffInc.com on Friday, I'll go over every deck list with sideboards and information on that. This is probably the wackiest deck that I have built. Um, so far, we've been winning with basically everything. Um, we have one, uh, one O four with Space Pants. The coolest deck name was the worst deck, but um, everything's going pretty good so far. I would say that this is the probably the most experimental deck of all of them uh, in Horse Mill. So, this is the deck of Magic cards that I have put together. <laughs> What are we doing here? Okay, we are playing Drown Secrets. We're trying to mill our opponent, right? And why are we doing this now? Because clearly these cards were legal before. What's what's changed? Well, a few things have changed. Um, big ones are the horse. Wave Break Hippo Kit. God, I'm sorry, everyone. This is a uh, 2-2 two, two for 3. Not a great card, right? It's solid, but it's a little clunky. It's a really good engine, though. And we're playing enough one mana instance where you can play this on turn four with a spell up and say go and get at least immediate value out of it. And yeah, that goes alongside Thirst for Meaning, which is also really good here. We get to um, we get to loot away extra lands, loot away um, you know the so tinies if they're bad, draw more cards. And this all you know is just teaming up with our our drown secrets, kind of just keep casting cards, keep casting cards, keep casting cards. And uh, get some counter spells and drown the lock. Obviously, very, very good in the mill deck. Merfolk Secret Keeper, double spell, unsummon to bounce it. So tiny. Kind of a silly card, but it's not a bad card. Just sorts of plot shares, kind of. <laughs> it's a little ambitious to call it short plot shares, but yeah, the, the, st the, the little starry effect is so cool. Um, Sahili also seems great in this deck, too, because uh, we're just playing a bunch of cantrips and a bunch of spells. It makes a lot of blockers. Can be a win condition if we have to, but, you know, just. So we have a lot of value from our Hippocramp and our Sahili. Into the story, a little extra card draw. Um, fourth Auto Erasure. Is that good? I have no idea, uh, honestly. The good news is we are, our mana is also good. We get to play Temple of Deceit. Uh, we're playing some Dismal, Dismal Backwaters. Just a wacky deck. We're not playing the cancels. Or like, didn't say please and stuff. Those cards aren't very good. I want to be a little lower to the ground. I'm a little concerned with actually finding Drown Secrets. So we're playing two copies of Shimmer of Possibilities. Um, obviously we're also helping out escape, but let's put the, the so tiny on the euro, whatever. Let, let him draw cards, you know? We jump block euro with Sahili. It's fine. Uh, we're not playing any castles because we're playing, um, we should probably have a castle in this deck. Yeah, all right, sure. Vantress, uh, for one island. Sure. Done. Okay. Done. So yes, the unsummon is important over the new card because it bounces our Secret Keeper. So, with the Drown Secrets out, we go Secret Keeper, mill two, mill four, cast Secret Keeper, mill two, unsummon, mill two, cast Venture Deeper, mill four, mill two, cast Secret Keeper, mill two. It's a lot of mill. It's a lot of mill. So, I don't think Overwhelm the Apprentice is good enough. So, is that good? I have no idea. Let's just play some magic. All right, let's just play some magic. Let's go. No idea what's happening with this one. Uh, this is a, a pretty wild one. Let's go. Horse Mill. <sighs> Huey! William Huey Jensen, world champion. It's about to face the power of Horse Mill. I think Drama Lock's going to suck really bad. That's like the one card that's actually good in this deck, right? Oh, his hand's perfect. I mean... We have Thought Erasure and Drown Secrets, so... Dizzle Backwater. Probably leading on the Drown Secrets. We'll see what happens. Planes. Some sort of Simic something? Wolf Hollow Haven. A little scary that we're gonna, like, just give him free reign next turn, but... Just do it. Just do it. Citizen Champion. This is... Destroy card creature, visit your mana cost, less than equal number of cards in the graveyard. One, we cast this. Can I cast this? I can't cast this yet. Okay. Um, I think we're going to unsummon this. 
We can't let them draw cards. On seventh auto erasure. It's like not pretty, but whatever. I mean, we could also save the. Uh... Maybe we just wait. No, they're gonna draw so many cards next turn. We can't do that. Um, I'm just on summon thought erasure, and then the uh, the drown will be available too. Kind of like would like to save the unsummon for Sahili. We have plenty of one mana spells though, so deputy land, sure, bounce that, and then thought erasure, mill two, land, enigmatic incantation. Their hand is oh my god, their hand's full of crap. Uh, Elspeth conquers death. Dream Trawler, Champion, Dryad, Omen. Uh, I think it has to be the Elspeth. Oh, it's three or greater. This, this can't kill a Drown Secrets. That's pretty cool. Uh, it can kill Sahili though, which is kind of annoying. Um, this is a lot of good cards. It's probably just the Champion. Yeah, whatever. And Hippocamp. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't love it, but let's try it. I think they draw land here or not. They do not. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now I'll draw land, but that's okay. Top, top. Jeez. Shock land. Dryad. Okay. Hippo camp. Uh, so we want to take. I mean, Dream Trawler is kind of a, kind of a house, honestly. Um, but so is this card. I guess we can counter it, right? How many cards do they have? Yeah, they, we actually just we actually just draw Thought Erasure counter here. That's actually really good. So let's just go Thought Erasure. Mill again. What's Palpatine's favorite album? Dark Side of the Moon. Um, Conquer's Death, great, they have a million cards in the bin, take that, Thirst for Meaning, I'm cool with that, Shock, cool, Golos? Okay. I mean, I don't think we care about this. Kind of regretting topping either the Thirst or the Hippocrat. I want to go Sahili into Dramalock. It's like now they're making a progress. We've got to counter the stupid Dream Trawler, I think. So, I think this is fine. Oh, they can activate goals with the Dryad. That's true. That's far away, though. This is fine. Great. The realtor just messaged me, and multiple offers are in the house. We're cooking. It's great. Let's try top, sure. There's a thirst. Thirst is really awkward here, because, like, we, we probably should have bought him one of these. Probably should have bought him one of these. Um, maybe keeping this is bad, too. Maybe we're just playing bad this game. Uh, we're just going to main phase thirst. Try and draw a land for Drown the Lock. Okay, we'll ship the uh, the hippo camp. We didn't draw land though. Oh man, we're we're boned. We're in big trouble now. Oh boy. All right. On. They have twenty eight cards. I should have never kept that horse. Now they cast the Trawler. Island. So we can go... Secrets, Secret Keepers, Secret Keeper on Summon. Doesn't really work. 
I'm gonna get Sahili in play. I guess we're gonna Sahili Drown Secrets Chump. And they have to attack Sahili with everything. We're probably just gonna die, honestly. Yeah, and that's got a lot they have a lot of spells here, unfortunately. Maybe we actually Sahili first. Yeah, Sahili first. Yeah, Trawler is like kind of unstoppable, unfortunately, um, which is a real issue. If we, if we, could, if we could like deal with this, like unsummon it or whatever, we actually we would just be fine. But the fact that it's just a monster creature that just is going to kill us like in like two turns, it just kills the Healy by itself. Oh man. Yeah, we're just doing alright. Uh, I mean, we, played, we, played, we played really badly this game. I mean, we played bad that game. We shouldn't have kept the 3-drop. We shouldn't have kept the 3-drop. The, 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 it was, it was good, obviously, but... Nah, that was a tough one. Alright. We need we, we really need that, like, one turn to set up and get the Hippocramp or the Sahili in play. You know? Um, Dex seemed good, though. Dex seemed cool. I win next turn? They had, like, 38 cards in their deck. Oh boy, oh boy! All right, folks, we got a we got a sale coming up on cool stuff. We're not coming up right now. Coolstuffinc.com. This is only for my my stream watchers. YouTube, it'll be too late. The sale happening right now during this event, fifteen percent off all Theros pre-orders. Coolstuffinc.com promo code THP15. Otherwise, use promo code Jim Jim5 for five percent off your order. If you're watching on YouTube. Uh, okay, this is a hand. I don't think we had the win. Maybe we did, I don't know. Leyline of Anticipation. Uh, Alright. Uh, I don't really want that. Seems kind of nice, too. We should just thought erasure. Our tap lands here are really awkward, obviously. We should drew both backwaters. Nox Sprite for, I mean, their hand's bad. Jeez. Uh, do I want this? They have one attacker and nothing? Yeah, I guess I want that. I think Swords Plus shares. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we have the kill. Maybe, maybe I punted early. I'm sorry. I'm just mad. I was mad. I was mad I played bad. Um, Alright, so. I mean, they have. Actual nothing. Yes. Just there you go. We've been 34 cards milled. I mean, if they had 38 to start the turn, I don't think it's enough. Just raw dog fast off the top. That's pretty brutal. Uh, sure. That makes the so tiny kind of awkward. Um. That's fine. You can tap things, and it flickers things. I don't know why they main phased it, but sure. Unsummon? That's kind of nice. Alright, so you want to set up for Sahili into Unsummon. And just bounce the Thassa, I guess. Hands, all these tap lands have been so awkward. I'm just playing too many tap lands, I think. I can't place a Healy first. I can't just take a million. Oh, that's gross. Um, I'll just bounce Thassa, I guess. Just buy time. I don't want to cast spells before I place a Healy, also. I want to get a little bit old value out of it. This. 
I mean, playing Leyline for just devotion purposes seems kind of loose. Like, there's no Nykthos. Like, if, if there was Nykthos to fuel into your Gadwicks, it makes more sense, but... Alright, so, place a Healy. You've got one in the bin. Yeah, there's Thassa. It's fine. Maybe we say go. Um... We're just gonna opt. I guess I could just tap the blocker. I'm playing like crap. Uh, Semi, I just tiny this instead. Yeah. They can tap four and tap. The I keep forgetting this test the tap ability on Thassa. Cool. I mean, now that we get to untap, I think we're in pretty good shape, honestly. So, we're gonna have a lot of blockers. We gotta find a way to start milling, but... Oh, that was a really good draw. Alright. That's not good. Um... Yeah, I mean, Thassa's has been pretty good, I suppose. The fact that you get, you get the value immediately is like a pretty big game. Alright. Shimmer. I'm pretty sure we just can't beat this. We can't beat the Thassa because we are they, they can flicker our so tinies and stuff too. Yeah, I don't think we can beat we can beat, we can beat a five five flyer. Oh my! All right, might have a short one here, folks. This deck seems horribly unplayable. <laughs> it did seem pretty bad when I built it, but I wanted to try it out. You know, not every deck's going to be a winner, and I think that you're if you're scared to experiment and lose, you're uh, you're missing out on part of the experience, and you are limiting yourself as a Magic player. Um, having the ability to not be scared to try out weird things is. Um, is uh yeah so brutal this is what you want to see all right well I'm, I'm glad you're happy there's there's your uh oh wait that's the wrong one there's your promo code again if you're asking for it bro boat all right let's go here we can do this we got this we got too many tap plans but we got this We can do it. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, Dan... 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 Dan Joseph is in chat. Dan's, of course, a good friend of mine and uh, known for playing the best deck in every tournament on the SG Tour. Dan's quite the brewer behind the scenes. No one really knows about it, but Dan is quite the brewer. All right, so this card's obviously terrible against us, which is great. Um, you can just set up here. Try to resolve Sahili or Hippocrat. We're actually in fine shape this game, I think. Another Secret Keeper? I don't think I want this. I think I want to just look for uh, a Drown Secrets. Just say go. I think overall, overall, the apprentice is far too weak. It is just not a good magic card. It's far too low of a power level to play in a constructed deck. And they got these O fours. They got these O fours. All right. Sure. All right. So we get to resolve a Sahili. And then next turn we get to go Hippocamp, Plant Spell on their turn. Oh, High Alert with this card is really cool. I like that a lot. 
I forgot that card existed. That's an enchantment, too. It's kind of cool. Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. Prepare yourself, Heliod. I have killed one god. You are braver than you are. Uh, that blows. Alright. Um... Play, uh, play the old hippo. I feel like this is like the the contrarian deck we're playing today. Where like escapes the brand new mechanic. We're like, you know what? We're gonna play a mill deck. You know, we're, we're being really, really edgy right now. A Johnny's Pride Mate? Jeez. Okay. I mean, I guess we're gonna... Man, Elspeth is good. That's a lot of power. I will do my best to support you. They're leaving... They don't want to trade? They think the Hippo Cramp is so bad, they're not willing to trade their, their one drop with it? Wow. That's embarrassing. They're really, they're really sticking it to us here. Might need to move on to the next deck here, folks. Drown the lock? Alright. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. So... We get to Thought Erasure this. And we're going to play a spell on their turn. What's it going to be? I'm not sure yet. Um, we can, like, so tiny something. That's Thought Erasure. Is that an ounce of respect? Uh, we have drawn the locks. That's fine. Opt, sure. So backwater. We're taking a lot this turn, like a lot. Wait, what? Oh, they have four cards. Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. Uh, I mean, We just can't win. All right, abort mission. That's fine. Let's play a new tech. If you're not willing to go off the rails sometimes, what are you even doing? All right. Uh, that was a that was a, a true 0 03. That was a true embarrassment of um everything. The space pants was sort of like, eh, we gotta build this deck a little bit better or whatever. Alright. Our meme failed. Miserably. If you're watching on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, and look for other videos where we actually win matches of magic. Alright? I love you, YouTube.